news article and thought it sounded familiar? Journalism takes a highlighter to news articles and compares them to a database of press releases to see which sections have been copied. We've adapted the UK-based journalism.com for a US audience, building on the open source work of the Media Standards Trust. Today, I'm going to walk you through the site at journalism.summitfoundation.com. The way journalism works is simple. Take this article released by Yahoo News as an example, copy the URL and paste it into the search field. Hit Submit, and Journalism will compare this article to press releases from several wire services, the White House and the Congressional Leadership, a sampling of Fortune 500 companies, some trade organizations, and most articles in Wikipedia. The results reveal quite a bit of overlap from this press release. To compare the article side by side with a source, click the icon. Click on each highlighted region and see where the text appears in the source document, then you can determine if the article takes quotes out of context. If the article is behind a paywall, copy and paste the text of the article into the search form. It's important to note that the media often gets press releases before they're released, so a breaking news story might give a false negative, but reveal matches on a later scan. This article from the Honolulu Star Bulletin illustrates another use for journalism. The author of this article borrowed some key facts from this entry in Wikipedia. Some quotes were broken into smaller phrases, but journalism isn't fooled. If you use Chrome, Firefox, or Internet Explorer, download one of our extensions to get in-browser notifications. Whenever you're on a news article where journalism is detected, a notification will appear at the top. The extension only runs on a collection of news sites that you can edit, and we never record your personal information. We hope journalism shed some light on the influence on the media and politics. We're continually adding new sources to journalism, so please get in touch if you have any suggestions. To see more trainings, go to training.sunlightfoundation.com.